There we go. I am live. Hello, everybody. So I am going to show you how to do a LinkedIn banner um, using Canva. It's going to be free. It's a free version of Canva as well. And so let me just share my screen and see why we are here and what we're doing. OK, so let me hit this button here. This is, OK, the banner. This is what people see when they come to your profile, okay? That, what does that say about you, okay? What are people thinking when they hit your profile and they see a banner like this? Um, I will let you <laughs> tell me what you think people see, but I've got my opinions too. Anyway, so uh, let's just, we're gonna actually come and look at this and that's what we're gonna create today. Okay, so first off, what I want you to do is actually have a look at your current banner. And what you need to do is when you create a banner, you've, your, little, your little head um, picture comes up on the profile and will hide anything that you've put here. So make sure you know where you're doing. And a little top tip for that is I use uh, Shift, Command and 4 on a Mac. Uh, on a PC, there's something called a snipping tool. And so what I do is I create that image there and I... I Cut that little bit there. What I also do is I've got one for my mobile phone. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I do with both of those. So I'm going to go into another version of uh, Canva here. So you can see my Canva. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a design. So if I come in here and start writing in LinkedIn, it's coming up with lots of suggestions. So the first thing I want to do is I need the 1584 by 396. So that is the banner size that we're going to be using today. So if I click on that, it is going to create me a banner. So the first thing I do is I'm going to upload that image that I've just taken. OK, so um, I've already done it there to make life easier. I'm going to just go in and find the other one for you. So if I just click on my finder and go to downloads that there is the image that i took this morning of my screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh, uh shift command and four and i'm going to do exactly the same thing there because on your mobile phone your head is an awful lot bigger uh what you've got to think about is the real estate on your on your phone is a lot is a lot is a lot smaller so they've got to make your head really big and that covers up even more of your banner. So I've done that. And so I'm going to click on upload. And with uh, you, you get you, you, your things that you clip come onto your um, screen. On, oh, there it is there. They come onto my desktop. So if I go on here, if I grab hold of that. That's off my mobile phone. So I fill that into the space. OK, and what I now need to do is I need to draw a circle. Around that image. So I grab hold of the circle element. So all I do is find find the element, click on uh, click on it and it'll bring it in for me. And now all I do is I use these corners to drag that to get the circle the same sort of shape. Can you see what I'm doing there? And I just grab hold of that and move that over until I pretty much got that covering that circle. So it's a little bit smaller than that. Bring that up. Uh, so that is pretty much that, that first circle covered over. So as long as I don't put any text in there, then I'm not going to um, uh, hide my text. So let me just get rid of that image. Uh, that image isn't coming over. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna go back to uploads and bring in my one from my, this is from my um, desktop. And I'm gonna click on elements and I'm gonna click the circle. And in here, I'm just gonna make this a different color so that we can differentiate. Now I've got a brand kit in here. So these, these, are, these are the colors that I use regularly within Canva. So same again, just grab hold of it and get those matching the circles. I want to make sure that's a little bit better. But that's pretty much it. Okay, so I've covered the circle on both of them. 
So what I now need to do is I'm just going to create another page. And I'm going to grab hold of that element. So I'm going to Control and C and copy that. And then if I bring it down here, and that will always be in the same place. So I can get rid of these elements. And there's my other circle. So if I grab hold of that, Control C, and then come in here, Control and Paste. And if I send that to back, then I can now see the two circles on my screen. I know that anything that I put in this banner here is going to be uh, show, showing that I'm not going to put any text under it. So when I actually upload that, I'm not going to be losing any of my text. And that's very important. Otherwise, it's going to look messy. Um, if you've got any questions, please put in the comment box. And, and if, if you can hear me and see me, please put in the comment box. It's nice to know that there's somebody here watching. Um, so the first thing I need to do then is, is start coming up with a color. So if I click on the background, can you see the blue lines are now showing the background? So whenever I click on anything, it comes up with the blue line around it. So I know what element I'm playing with. So this gives me a whole cornucopia of color. So I've got some normal colors. It's also picking up the photo that I dropped in. So I get my green straight away. I know the green. I also know the green has got a color. So I know that color, but I might, I might see it somewhere else. And I can actually grab hold of a picker and grab hold of that and put that somewhere else. And it'll, it'll choose that color for me. Okay, so you choose the color of your background. So if you know your color, then you can do that. If you don't know your color, if you upload a screenshot, you can find it out and then it'll tell you exactly what it is. So I'm going to go with my dark green because what I want to do is I want to create this um, banner for you today. Um, and this is this is when you can do it yourselves. Now, the thing is with, with my banner is not too many words. They're quite big. OK, and I've got an image there because I do a lot of training. So uh, if you're a training type person, then it's not, you, you know, everything that you deliver is you. So it's good to have your brand on the banner. Um, there's lots of different ways and whys and reasons for all kinds of banners. This is the one that I use and this is the one that works for me. So the next thing you see, I've got a gold um, bar across the bottom. So all I do is I go into the elements area and I now click on the rectangle. So that brings the rectangle down. And all I need to do is just go in here and stretch it out. Can you see I'm just stretching the anchor points there? And I'm going to bring it down to somewhere like that. And then I now need to make that gold. And because I'm still clicked on it, it's given me a color in the top there. And I just click on that gold. And now I've got my gold color as well. Uh, don't forget that anything that you do with these um, circles isn't going to be seen when you upload it on and you view it on any of those uh, on the mobile or the normal uh, app. OK, so the next thing I now need is some uh, writing. So if I click on text, I can bring in some text and. OK, so there's my text. I can't talk and type at the same time. OK, so what I now need to do is grab hold of that. And if you grab hold of the anchor points, it actually makes that text bigger for you. Now, I've got a different font there. So if I click on here, the, the font that I like using, I just control A to highlight all the font. Go in here. Um, I use something called Roboto. Um, so that's that's the font that I'm going to use today. And um, in fact, it's not the font that I used up there. I can make that a bit bolder if I want to. Um, and I'm going to drag that so that it's not going in the circle. So there we go. And if you notice, I've got the LinkedIn logo at the back there. So all I do is I go into Elements. And if I search in here and I put LinkedIn, you can see that I've done that before. But as soon as you start writing, it in, it starts coming up with suggestions. So there's the LinkedIn logo, and I just click on that. Now, can you see down here, I've got some here, th things here that say pro. Now, anything with the pro logo means that you have to pay extra for it, or you have to have the, the pro version. So I don't have that. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to grab hold of that, put it on top of my in, and then just drag it down, holding the corners, and just making sure that that's in the right place. Now, my text is... So what's actually happening is I've got layers now. So what I want to do is I want to bring this. Uh, it should actually. There we go. 
So all I now need to do is send text to the back. And so what that's done is it's pushed the text behind the, the logo. So there we go. So inspiring you to love LinkedIn, uh, I want to change it to my brand color. So it's there. And then I want 15 minutes a day. So now I just do text again. And what I could do is if I grab hold of that, uh, click on the element and control C, control V, it's actually created the text and grabbed hold of it. So I'm gonna bring that down there and I'll just change that to in just minutes a day and an exclamation mark the rest of the text behind that. Okay, now that looks pretty boring because it's all the same sort of text. So maybe I'll change that. So um, let's take the bold off and let's take the, I don't want two lots of it in, in there, do we? Um, and then we'll make that a little bit smaller. And maybe you want to, um, I'm just gonna, I could do italic if I wanted to. Uh, what you can also do with, with the text is if I control A, I can go into effects at the top. And what effects does, I can give it a little bit of a lift so it just comes off the page a little bit um, to do that. And then finally, I want my money back, don't I? So if I just put in here, um, and it's or your money back, grab that down into the gold. I'm going about there. I want to change that to something a bit different. And let's do that one there and make that black. Uh, click on the color. And then we got black. And we just want to make that a little bit bigger, don't we? And there's that there. Okay. And then finally, we want um, my photograph in. So uh, let's just find uh, my photo and my finder. Uh, where is he? I brought him in earlier. I'm sure I brought him in. It's on desktop. There we go. Where is he? Where's that guy gone? He was here yesterday. Is it downloads? There he is. There's, there's, there's me. Okay, so that's that's my photo, but I want, I don't. If I grab hold of that photo and upload it, it's going to be me and all of everything else that's in the frame. So I need to get rid of the background. So, what I do here is I've got a free bit of software that I use called uh, Remove Background. So it's remove.bg, and then I upload an image. So if I go to my downloads, grab hold of that chap there. And what it's doing, it's done all the work for me. Now, if, the, if there was a few bits sticking out, I could actually go in and I can edit that and, and erase it or restore it back. But I don't need to do that. So all I do now is click download, download image. And then if I go back into my banner, can you see my images there at the bottom of the page? I grab hold of that and I can just upload that into the into here. And then I can fill the page, um, bring it right down like that. So I'm huge and big in the in the picture. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm on the effects, uh, if I click on edit image, I can give myself a drop shadow or, or a glow or something, but then I'm just sticking out of the page a little bit more. So there you go, in 14 minutes and 38 seconds, I've actually created that banner for you. Now what I need to do now is get rid of these circles, okay? And then that's just uh, what I'm going to do here is if I click on that and then hit the shift key and click on the LinkedIn. I can grab hold of both of those and move those along. So then I can fill that up a bit more. And then what I'm going to do is send myself to back so that I'm behind the gold banner. OK, and very, very simply, I've created a banner for you. All I need to do now is click on here. And it says download. So I want to click on that one. Click done. Click download. And there's my banner. So what I need to now do is put it into um, my LinkedIn profile. So if I click on here, 
go into my profile and then change photo. And then um, there's my new banner. And there it is. Very simply, all in 15 minutes. If you've got any questions, please uh, shout up. Uh, if not, um, thank you very much for watching. And I hope this has helped you.